Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Usually I do these Ninjago face-offs on Sunday, but of course with the big Season 11 news, I was mainly focused on putting up videos for that. So I didn't really get the chance to do this. So yeah, we'll be doing today's, this week's face-off on today, and we'll go, we'll be back for this again on Sunday. In this video, the thumbnail might seem a bit weird, but I want to compare the roles of Samurai X versus Water Ninja, which are two roles that Nia has played throughout the series, and decide which of the roles is better for Nia. Starting off with Samurai X, the big detail with Samurai X that is mentioned throughout the series is that this really is something that Nia created herself, and this is something that truly is unique to her. The other ninja are just ninja, however Nia on the other hand is a samurai, and that is what made her especially stand out in the first season of Ninjago. I really like the samurai form of her because it did stand out a lot, and it was a cool little side story for her, even though she wasn't really a main character at that point. Although, the downside with this is that, again, she wasn't really a main character, and she she was a main character, of course, but not as focused on as the ninja were. So, that would be the only downside that her being Samurai X did have. However, we also saw some great suit design from this, too, and some awesome stories for Nia that weren't necessarily tied in with the central stories of the other ninja. So, that was pretty cool. I especially was fond of her spying story in Season 4, and, of course, the whole mystery of the Samurai X was a really cool plot twist, and it was a really cool story throughout the first season of Ninjago 2. So, I definitely did like that a lot, and it was done very well for the most part. And, of course, this all comes crashing down for Nia's world and for us when it's revealed that Nia has powers in Ninjago Season 5. And this season it kind of deals with the transition from Samurai X into Water Ninja. The difference with Water Ninja is this is a power that she inherited by Bloodline rather than creating herself. And this exact thing is mentioned in the show. I think they mentioned that Samurai X is something she created, while Water Ninja is something she inherited by genetics. So there, that is the downside of that. Samurai X was something she created and spoke to her character a lot more. However, with the Water Ninja, Nia has since definitely become a much more focused on or important character in the series. So that is, that's definitely great for her actually becoming the Water Ninja. So I do like, I did like that for sure. And she's had some more stories since then. She's been the focus of a season, season seven, alongside her brother. And she's had some cool stories too. Water is also an interesting element, and we've seen a lot of development for Nia. However, I don't think the development is as good as her Samurai X stage. With this now, it just really feels like the girl ninja and a big political movement, so that is the only downside for this, mainly. Whereas with Samurai X, it still was a political movement for sure, but it wasn't as in-your-face about it. So there, that is definitely some of the pros and cons about each. Now, wrapping up the video, so and this is just a shorter little face-off episode, but yeah, I mean, I do feel with Samurai X, it is something that she created herself. And the development certainly was more meaningful for her. However, at the same time, she didn't have as big of a role as she does have now. So the, again, there is a trade-off with each and every one of these options. And with the Water Ninja, I feel like her development is not as good as back when she was Samurai X. It's just more of a political movement now. And again, the Water Element is something she inherited by Bloodline. So it's not something that she created, and it doesn't really speak to her character as much. However, the development of her transitioning from Samurai X to Water Ninja was very cool too, and it was definitely a great training story for her. And she has a bigger role in the series as well too, which is certainly awesome. But in the end, I'm probably going to have to go with Samurai X. I feel like this is a much more creative story for her, and although she did have a smaller role, and let's face it, it was inevitable, she was going to become a ninja one day, Samurai X is just more creative, and it was it had better development and was less of a in-your-face kind of thing. Thanks for watching this week's Face Off. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share it with anyone ever you know, and let me know what you guys think and whether you prefer Samurai X or the Water Ninja. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.